Now brake horsepower, not one but two turbochargers, a six-speed gearbox and permanent four-wheel drive. It costs £36,639. Your luggage will never have travelled faster. Really, Jason? Well, for years, the quickest way to get your bags from A to B has been on board the BMW M3. This is the car that Audi wants to beat. An enormous 321 brake horsepower, thrilling rear-drive handling and a supercar-slaying reputation. It costs more at £38,445, but for that, you get a torch in the glove box. James, if I wanted a torch, I'd get one with my petrol station super saver points. What you want is one of these, the Subaru Impreza 22B Turbo. It's based on their world championship rally car. It's got 288 brake horsepower, permanent four-wheel drive and gold wheels. It will cost you 39,995 quid, but if it doesn't wipe the floor of these other two, then I'll carry their bags. So, perhaps speed does matter after all, and out on the famous driven test track, we're going to be finding out exactly how important it is. But first, this. This week we've got some very fast cars indeed. The new Audi S4 carries with it the reputation started by the Quattro in 1980, a car that was to become a legend. I remember as a kid, when the original Audi Quattro was launched, I didn't have a clue what four-wheel drive meant, but I knew I was going to have to have it on my car one day. The S4 is the Quattro reincarnated. It's got that mighty turbocharged thrust and, of course, the safety and security of permanent four-wheel drive. They do lovely interiors these days as well. Nice trims, nice colours, nice materials, if a bit sensible. Yes, sensible Audi, actually. This thing isn't sensible at all. One letter, one number. But we all know what M3 stands for. It's the motorway to Southampton. Is it? No! It's the most coveted of all BMWs. The one every 3 Series driver secretly wants to be in. And why not? It's got one of the world's all-time great engines. It's made properly. It's comfortable. And despite having supercar slaying performance, it really does look quite discreet. <laughs> Wait till you see what Brewer's driving. See this face? It's a happy face. Because I'm sitting in probably the best seats I've ever sat in. I feel snug and secure. And it's just as well, eh? Because under the bonnet of this Subaru 22B is a turbocharger the size of my house, which makes the car do this. <laughs> this is one of only 400 ever made, and Subaru managed to get 16 of them into the country. Yeah, I know people are going to laugh and point as you drive down the road with that great big spoiler and gold wheels, but for me, I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> so we've got three quick cars, and in true driven style, we're going to find out which is the quickest. I've been looking forward to this bit all day. Since dawn, the crew has been clearing the track of debris because this week we're going to time the cars over a whole mile from a standing start and we're expecting some high speeds. The computerised test equipment is fitted and it will show the 0-60 time as well as the time over the whole mile. The ID goes first. Difficult car to get off the it line. Is. Very difficult. Four-wheel drive. Big blast of power though, it's fantastic. 265 horsepower. Now twin turbos coming just at the right moment, fantastic. And we're doing, uh, we're already doing 100 mile an hour. You like this, don't I you? I do like this car. And it feels incredibly stable. 6,000 RPM, and it feels great, doesn't it? Nought to 60 in 6.2, and a total time of just 36.8 seconds. Okay, Jason, first gear, 5,000 revs. Oh, oh, fill that back in. Yes! Oh, it's quick. Second gear. 7,000 RPM, got to the rev limiter. We're already doing 90 mile an hour. We're in third gear. We've changed up into fourth. It's a bit tram liney though, Jason. This big tires, big tires. We're doing over 140 mile an hour on the speedo, and we've gone through. Nothing in it. Same to 60 and 36.7 in total. Now the Impreza. Mega car, very, very Feel quick. That. 60 mile an hour already, and very, very straight as well. You are Colin McRae. Thank you very much. I'd like his money. No, this is a superb car, it's very stable. Car. Big wing in the back to keep us clamped down. It really does work, this car, James. When you reach the end of the runway, Mr. Brewer, you will just take off. 
Quicker both to 60 and over the mile, the Subaru wins from the closely matched M3 and the Audi S4. Now here on Driven we have an unwritten rule that we never open the bonnet of the car, but this week I'm going to make an exception. Now each of these high performance motor cars costs roughly twice as much as the most basic model in the range. Why is this? Because they can get away with it, obviously, but officially much of that extra money goes here on the engine. To get people to pay that extra dosh, motorsport credibility is vital and the N3 has it in spades. This cool looking engine is closely related to the one in the McLaren F1, the fastest road car ever made, which gives it a credibility rating of 8 out of 10. Now the Subaru isn't just a race bred car, it is a racing car. This is effectively the road going version of Colin McRae's World Rally Championship car. Its engine may look like the inside of a washing machine, but it positively oozes credibility. Here is technology plucked straight from the special stage and plonked under your bonnet for a credibility rating of 9 out of 10. Audi also has an excellent history in rallying, but for some reason when you think of Audi you don't think of engines, you think of things like clever four-wheel drive systems. This 265 bhp engine looks great, but it's not really related to any racing equipment at all. And so with less to bore your mates down the pub about, it gets only 7 out of 10. If you were watching a few weeks ago, you will of course remember the Driven S's. Well, this week they're back and they really mean business. That's 8 nasty curves, 3 loony sports saloons, and we're going to time it to see which of them is the quickest. Mike, we are now in the BMW M3. At low speeds, you can do this in an M3. You can just Whoa! <laughs> push the tail wide like that. Been on a nice gate ring. Yes, just under 30 miles an hour through the gate. And here we go, second gear. Let's see just how much grip we've got in this lovely car. Bags of grip, Jason. Fantastic. You can feel it getting a wee bit wayward, but it good chassis, Jason. Just understeers a bit. Oh, it went very quickly. Well done, Jason. 14.13 seconds. Well, Mike, we're in the 22B, a very special and proud, so not very many of them around. Let's see if it uh, lives up to its reputation. Whoa, here Whoa. we go. Bags of grip. Pots of power. <laughs> now I know what Colin McRae's co-pilot feels oh, like. <laughs> the time's looking impressive, I will say. Whoa, fantastic. 14 dead. 14 seconds dead. Nope. How was that for you, Jake? That was marvellous. Mike, we're in the Audi S4. It's got tons of grip. Let's find out exactly how much grip it's got. Tons of horsepower. Tons of horsepower through the driven S's. Here we go. Oh. Should be nice and smooth, I think. Push me into the back of my seat there. It just catapults you through the corners. <laughs> I want to do this forever. Whoa! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> the Audi wins with a time of 13.7, the extraordinary Subaru is second, and the M3 third. Now, no one could seriously accuse us of not having fun making this program, but I've got to say, these three cars really were more fun than most things we've driven. My BMW is a great car, nice feel to it. It's also got one of the greatest engines of recent times, I think. But, although obviously the grip is enormous and there's plenty of power there, the sensations are deadened. It's just a little bit too vague. Let's go to the Impreza, Mike. Oh, the car's awesome. Uh, one won't describe it, and it's uh, incredibly involving. It feels very special. You can tell that its roots are in motorsport, and it isn't that far removed from them. It's not the car that I'd want to live with, because it's a car that you feel that you've done a day's work before you've even got to the office. It is a bit like living inside a tumble dry, which would get tiring after a bit. Mike, S4. It's as quick as the Subaru, but it doesn't give you the impression it's as quick as the Subaru when you're in it. But, but it, it is. is, so that's the one that I would go for. James. Well, I like the S4 a lot because it's the most discreet in real-world terms. It seems actually to be the quickest. I think if I was really spending my own money, I'd have the Audi. So the Audi wins. Uh, it doesn't win for me. This is truly one of the most amazing cars I've ever driven, although we've got to say all three are really pretty darn good, uh, and the Audi is a worthy winner.